So in this video, I will show you why do we need continuous integration and continuous deployment and delivery practices. So let's imagine that we have a project, really huge project with uh, a different layers. Um, it's on the bottom, it's backend, for example. On the top, it's a front end, and somewhere in the middle, we have some services, and each part is developed by a separate team. So we have a huge number of teams and projects, and we have a task. For example, for Black Friday, we need to implement a feature for discount coupons. Let's imagine that our site sells air tickets, for example, and so we need to implement new feature for selling tickets. We selling tickets. We got this task on Monday, and uh, for each team, they had their different part of task. We can to implement their own part, front end their own part, and um, each team developing their own task. So they did it, and on Friday we decided to check how it works. So and then when we tried to integrate everything together, we found out that it doesn't work because backend team in understood their task like they need to integrate just um, one time coupon but another team decided that uh, there are no coupons at all and it's some discounts front end team they thought that uh, they don't need to add any vouchers field additional and in the end we found out that on friday everything doesn't work and it's an issue because that should be resolved so, as we know, that each part can affect another one. For example, if we create some changes on backend, it might affect services or might affect even frontend. Or the same if we have some new field on frontend part, we should integrate some REST call to backend and save this data on backend. So, we need to integrate each part. When there was no continuous integration and continuous delivery practices there was a time it calls uh, integration phase when uh, uh, all teams get together and try to integrate each part and it took a lot of time and it was very difficult and sometimes it's called integration hell because it took really a lot of time a lot of time right now we can implement any feature push it to our server and then continuous integration will run all tests and check if everything works fine and um, what everything is integrated what uh, in the way what we needed and that's how continuous integration works